Extremely Average Man here, and welcome to part two of customizing your tricon rig. Now, this applies to the Type 56 or 81, which I have here with the four magazine pouches or cells. Now, before we get too far, if you haven't seen part one of this video, I'll go ahead and link it in the description below. I'd recommend you guys check that one out first, because um, I consider the upgrades that did to that kind of the bare essentials to, to making your tricon rig a very viable option. The things I discussed in that video were uh, extending your magazine flaps here and also adding Velcro so you can cover your magazines a heck of a lot better than the little wooden dowels that they come with. Uh, I also dyed my rig with some RIT dye, I think I used dark brown, um, because these reproduction rigs come in like a very bright green, it stands out way too much. Uh, some of the things I did in that video was remove the grenade pouches that were on either side and I added some molly webbing and I've attached some pouches that are a lot more of a, a better option to, to store things on your rig. The other thing I did was add the belt in the back, which is a lot better than uh, just tying uh, the two straps that it comes with. So a lot easier to manipulate and get on and off. So in this video, um, I kind of consider it maybe the ultimate uh, little mini rig setup because in this video, I'll show you how to put um, like a little admin pouch back here which I keep a couple maps, got my compass in there, uh, I write in the rain notebook, a couple other small things. Also, how to add a dangler pouch to really give you some more real estate to, to store more stuff on your rig. So with all of these upgrades, this will be a very good backup rig, or if you're poor like me, a very good go-to rig. So stay tuned, let's get into it. All right, so here are the two upgrades we'll be focusing on. First being the admin pouch. Second is gonna be the dangler pouch. Uh, both these were off Amazon. They're good enough quality. And uh, man, you gotta love the Chinese branding. So with the dangler pouch, the brand I went with is Excellent Elite Spanker. It was about 25 bucks. And the admin pouch was, I went with Core Flex. I got three of these guys for 15 bucks. And it's just a little multi-purpose tool bag with a zipper up top. <laughs> The other items needed for this project is going to be some Velcro. I just bought 26 feet off Amazon. I believe this was 15 bucks, and the brand is Sorry. A way to cut the Velcro, some scissors, uh, shoe goo, as well as a way to measure, either using a ruler or a tape measure. And if you'd like to darken your rig or camo it, I've got some Rit dye, as well as some dark brown, olive green, and tan spray paint. All right, this project will be very straightforward. As you can see, I've put the hook end of the Velcro on, on the back of the, uh, the Tricom rig. So, with your dangler pouch, you see mine came with uh, Velcro as well. So, essentially all you have to do is Velcro that on the back. And I've also put Velcro on the pouch. So it'll stick on just like that. That's essentially all we're doing. And of course, cut a bunch of one foot strips of Velcro. And once you, uh, once you peel the back off, it's, uh, it's pretty sticky on its own, but for, uh, for ripping and tearing gear on and off, I trust you a little bit more. So don't be afraid, just glob a bunch on there. Just like that. I like to use toothpick just to spread it. You can just use your finger if you do if you don't care. Just like that and stick it on. And just do that for all the strips.
Now, take the felty side of your Velcro, cut up some strips, and we're going to put it on the core flex, or the back side of your admin pouch. And it's just that easy. Now let it set for 24 hours. I think Shugu says let it set for two days, but I just let it dry overnight and it seemed good. So, now that you have everything dried out, go ahead and slap it all together. Set that there. And then put your admin pouch right over it. There you go. And here's the rig. So I hope that helped you guys out. If you have a Tricom rig or you're looking to buy one on the cheap and get into some more load bearing gear, but you want to customize and change up some stuff. Um, even besides that, it's a good way if you're like I was like brand new to uh, shooting and reloading or airsoft and, and that sort of thing. Um, it's a really good idea or a really good way to know what you want without spending a lot of money um, because this allows you to have the bare essentials, you know, the pouches to reload, but um, it allows you um, space and room to kind of customize, customize, move stuff around and kind of figure out where you want things. So when you go to, to look at more expensive or um, just better built rigs, um, you kind of know what you're looking for and you know where you want to place things. Um, so this, this is a really good option and because it's a reproduction and if you guys are into collecting like an actual Tricom rig from the 60s or 50s or something, if you're into that sort of thing. Um, because this is reproduction, you don't have to worry about screwing up an original, customized paint, stain, you know, whatever. Do as you will with, with this rig itself. So, um, again, it's, it's a really good option uh, to run. Um, I actually have another rig, so this will probably be a backup, or um, uh, I'll lend it out to a friend when, it, when we go to the range or something. But... Um, but yeah, um, awesome rig. There's tons of great ideas. Watch, watch some other videos and you guys can gather some more ideas of how you want to build out your kit. Um, I kind of started doing a medical medical kit on this side. It's even got room for like a little IFAC. I think I have one more slot there. The idea was to have 
<laughs> have a dump pouch. Um, but I've since kind of moved on. I mean, it works just fine. You know, if you have to reload, you know, out of ammo, dump it in there. Um, however, I do like the belt set up a little bit better. So I actually, yeah, here it is. <laughs> actually got a, I think it's like the Marine surplus dump pouch that kind of goes on your belt. So I'll probably be running that, which will, I don't know, maybe I'll just keep that as a water bottle holder or something. I don't know. I'll mess around with it. So, anyways, extremely average man. Um, yeah, I hope that helped you out. And yeah, have fun. Have fun building your own uh, Tricom rig. We'll see you next time. Ho ho ho!